Hello, hello, welcome to another adventure in what sold this week on eBay. I am Dave. I am this is my channel, Estate Cleaner Dave, obviously. And I'm here today to talk to you about what sold this week on eBay for the second week of May 2020. And with that, we're gonna get right started on the very first thing which sold was see if I can find it here. There it is. It's Olaf from Frozen. This is a Infinity uh, game character, Infinity game character, uh, and let's see. I paid a dollar fifty for Olaf, and I I listed in July eighteenth, two thousand sixteen. So I listed these a while ago. They're all sold now, but this one uh, sold on May eighth, and it sold for fourteen ninety five with free shipping. Okay, next. Next we sold. These are Farberware lids. Um, I only sold one. This is a variation listing, so they have to go in and choose the one that they want. I paid 79 cents for the lid. I listed it. I'm not sure which size it was, the one that listed. I didn't write it down here, but uh, the one that sold, it was listed originally February 11th, 2017 is when I did this listing. And I sold this lid May 8th, and I sold it for $8.95 plus shipping. $8.95 plus shipping on that. Next, this is a lot of five ribbed uh, candle votees. They're glass. I think they're from Homeco or Home Interiors or one of those. And uh, let's see, there were five of them. I paid two and a quarter for them. I listed them July first, two thousand nineteen. So last year, sold May eighth for nineteen ninety five plus shipping. Nineteen ninety five plus shipping for those five. Next, and it's a cannon jar lid. Again, the cannon jar lid, $0.39 cents I paid, listed it September 14th the last year, sold it May 10th for $5.50 plus shipping. And it's just the one, yep, just the one. Next. <clears throat> and then we sold some Junie B. Jones children's books, children's chapter books. I paid 2 bucks for these. I had them for a while. Uh, listed them January 31st last year, so they've been actually listed for a while as well. And I sold them May 10th for $6.99, $6.99 plus shipping on those. Next. Let's see, here we go. And this was actually originally listed as a lot of two. Uh, I had someone ask me a question about it, how much I would take for all of them, so... I redid the listing, put all 12 that I had into one listing, and then I packaged them up, got them all ready to go, and the, the buyer did, 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 I sent them an offer on it, and the buyer decided, I guess, not to buy them. So there they sat, but they finally did sell. I sold all of them. They cost me $36 for the lot, and let's see, I, let's see, I originally listed them December 26th last year. And this listing was done probably in, like in April when I it was probably when I changed it, and um, it it then sold May tenth for one hundred and nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. So uh, yes, that was a very good deal for me. I thought so. Next, a piece of Pyrex. This is uh, obviously the butterprint Amish rooster pattern. And let's see, I paid nothing for this, so again, I think it came from a property I cleaned out. And let's see, uh, I listed it March 9th last year, sold it May 11th, and I, I took $9. $9 plus shipping on that piece. And uh, as I said, the uh, the lid had, had a noticeable chip on the corner, so that, that's an issue, which is why it went kind of cheap. Next. Fire King mug. This was in the lot of mugs that I had downstairs, and I am glad that it sold. Little yellow jingham there. Pay. I paid seventy nine cents for it. Listed it April twenty fourth. Sold May eleventh for ten bucks. Ten bucks plus shipping on that. And here we have. This is a piece of Hazel Atlas Modern Tone. Uh, I would not recommend getting a lot of this unless you want to sit on it for a while and make sure you get it at a really cheap price. I paid 79 cents. I listed it 
August 10th last year sold May 11th, and I took $5 plus shipping for it. So please, unless you're getting them four for a dollar or something like that, or four for four for a quarter or something, uh, you may want to stay away from the Exilus Modern Tone pieces. They're just not viable right now. However, if you get them cheap and you have place, some place to store them, it might be worthwhile to store them until they come back around, because everything comes back around. Next... Enchanted Palace game. Let's see. The Enchant Enchanted Palace? Enchanted Palace. I wrote down Castle. It's not Enchanted Castle. It's Enchanted Palace. I, I wrote down Castle in my, my uh, spreadsheet here. So it's different now. All right. I paid 50 cents for this game. And I list. let's see. I listed it. I listed it February 18th last year, so it's been up for quite a while. It sold May 11th, and I got $80. $80 plus shipping on that item. Next. Animorphs. Children's chapter books. These go way back to when I used to sell a lot of chapter books. I've had them for a while. Don't remember what I paid for them, obviously, anymore. It's been so many years. And anyway, I listed these October 24th, 2018. They were up quite a while. And uh, I sold them May 11th, and I took 20 bucks. 20 bucks, free shipping. And so the shipping was probably 5 or $6 on them. There's quite a few in there heavy. But anyway, so they are now in someone else's home. Okay, next. Warriors. Uh, stories about cats. Apparently cat warriors. I, I didn't read them, but uh, I... I thought that was pretty neat that somebody would do that. So, anyway, uh, I paid a dollar thirty-six for the. There was, uh, let's see. I think one of them was a hardback. Three of them were paperback. And uh, where are we at here? There it is. I listed these August twenty-eighth last year. Sold May eleventh. I got ten ninety-nine. Ten ninety-nine plus shipping for those books. Next, double bubble. America's original. You know, when I got this cup, I thought, sure, it would kill it. I thought, sure, it would be the thing. And you know, I only paid a quarter. I listed it, get this, June 5th, 2015. That's right, June 5th, 2015. It's been up for five years. Five years it's been listed. Uh, apparently, it's not a big seller. Either that or there's just too many of them. But whatever it was, no one was interested until finally it did sell. And I did it sold on May twelfth and I got six ninety nine. I did get six ninety nine plus shipping for it, so there is that. Alright, next. This is how's this work? Uh I paid let's see, thirty eight cents. I I bought the whole thing. I forget exactly what it was. It was a dollar or something, I think. And I parted it out. There were four parts. Parted it all out. And this was the last part that sold. It was... No, no, actually it wasn't the last part that sold. It was the base motor. I sold the base. The base motor. I paid $0.38 cents for the base motor. Um, I listed this thing January 10th last year. I sold the base motor here uh, May 12th for $19.99 plus shipping. But the shipping was uh, standard at three ninety nine, so I lost a little bit of money on the shipping because of the way variations work. Uh, I can't do calculated on variations, so I just have to do a fixed rate, and I didn't want to make the fixed rate too high for the other three pieces. So uh, all in all, it, it all worked out. It all worked out fine, so I, I still make money on it, so it, it's good. The base motor is something I probably shouldn't bother with, but uh, I did, so next. I actually always sell them, so I shouldn't say that I shouldn't do it. Next. Here I am always. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. This is uh, another set of these these brass curtain tiebacks. And uh, I paid a dollar for these. This was listed originally on uh, March 2nd. I sold it May 12th for $60, but they canceled. So I've had these ordered three times now. Uh, one was returned. One has not yet been returned, and this one was canceled before shipping. So, um, I, I I don't remember why. Doesn't really matter. It was canceled, so that's fine. 
That's fine. Okay. Uh, it says that I've yeah, I sold three. It says I have two available, so I don't know if I sold another one or and it went out or if I just didn't fix the... I may not have fixed the... Uh, the number or the quantity available number yet so or maybe i did and it's just an old this no i did no okay all right so yeah that was that so n next and this and this and there was actually another one let's see these are there's two of them I, I got that they're they're out of an old stove. I, I didn't pay anything for the stove, and I've sold the parts off. The, I sold the stove is around six hundred dollars that I've sold in parts off of that old stove. These two particular things, they actually one of let's see, the two drawers sold for. They've been listed since August of August two thousand seventeen, and they sold May twelfth for sixty nine dollars and ninety cents. Uh, however. When the person got them, they realized they bought the wrong ones. So, um, they were going to return them. I, I basically told them that, told them that it would be too expensive to return them. So they offered to split the shipping with me. So what I did is I refunded their purchase price and I kept the amount that I paid for shipping. And they were happy with that, so... The, the original amount that I, I, so they got to keep them. They got to keep them. I just kind of broke even on it, except for, you know, fees or whatever. But uh, they're gone, and and it was kind of sad because cause, uh, I was just actually thinking of them at the time of, of taking them down and taking them over to the shop and using them for display. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. But now I don't have to. So And they're, I don't know what she did with them. The buyer, I don't, I don't know what they did. If they just trashed them or, or what they did, but they, they bought the wrong ones, so it was fine. I didn't want them returned anyway. I did not want to pay return shipping on them. <laughs> okay, all right, next. So yeah, they said that was seventy bucks right there, and then the the next the other one which is coming up because they bought it later, like the next day after I shipped these ones. So uh, that was a separate shipping thing. So anyway, yeah, here's a piece of Visions wear. This is uh. A two and a half liter quart. Of all the of all the visions wear out there, this probably is the one that still sells well. I don't know why. It still sells pretty good. It can take quite a while to sell it. Um, however, I have I had two of them listed, and the person bought them both, and then canceled because they didn't want to pay the shipping. Well. Okay, whatever. I, I can't stand that. Well, you don't buy them if you're not going to pay the shipping. And I'm not going to send them to you free shipping. They're, they're way too expensive. But, uh, again, I probably did not relist them. They're probably still around here somewhere. Uh, so, anyway, um, that was a $42 sale that was canceled. And uh, So, right there, I had some, had some issues going on this time, this time around. So next, Olaf again. Uh, we sold Olaf again. This time Olaf again. He also went for fourteen ninety five this time. So pretty much the same numbers. So he sold on the twelfth though. So next, and these are three Nintendo three DS games that I bought last year. I paid three dollars for the lot. I listed them April tenth. Sold May twelfth. And I got nineteen ninety nine plus shipping for the three. Next. It's a soft cover book. Uh it was one of the books that I had on True Gather. And uh redid it. I, I didn't pay anything for it. I listed it March sixth, sold May twelfth, and I got three dollars and eighty cents plus shipping. So meh. Next. And this is a Ravensburger Sphinx board game. Um, let's see, Ravensburger Sphinx board game, paid a dollar, listed at January 21st last year, sold at May 13th, and I got $19.99 plus shipping. Next. It's just a little collection of, like, toy mini kitchen stuff, uh, obviously for, like, some kind of a dollhouse or something like that. And, uh, let's see, I paid a dollar, 
listed this stuff October 21st, 2018. So it's been up a year and a half. Sold May 13th for $15 plus shipping. Next. Where's that? There we go. And it's another Fire King mug. This one... Let's see, where is it at here? Fire, there it is right there. I paid 79 cents. I listed it April 18th, sold it May 13th, and I took $8. $8 plus shipping on that one. And, oh, there we go. Uh, woman's tunic top. Look at that thing. Yes. It's kind of vintage. Vintage-y, anyway. Uh, let's see, I didn't pay anything for that. I listed it December 17th. Last year, sold it May 13th. That took 10 bucks. Took 10 bucks plus shipping, and uh, I was I, I don't like to selling clothing, so um, I was happy that it was sold. Next, playing cards. I've had these around forever. They they were they. I don't remember what I paid for them. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah. I listed them October 23rd, 2015. So five years. And they sold May 13th for $11. $11 plus shipping on those. Next. And let's see. Yeah, next. I think they may have been the packages. The packs of cards may have been sealed inside there. Anyway, anyway yeah. Next. And, yep, and there's the other drawer. So that was the three drawers. And so that got refunded there. So next. Miami U, this is just a t-shirt that I had around here. Short sleeve, but it was still heavy. It was like a heavy, heavy material t-shirt. Uh, let's see, where is this at? There it is. 49 cents I paid, so it must have been clearance to Goodwill when I bought it. I listed it March 21st, sold May 13th for 5 bucks. 5 bucks, 5 bucks plus shipping. <laughs> Next. All right, these these are parts to a slot car, a Tyco slot car set, and I paid ninety two cents for these. They came in, a, in with a, a big bunch of this stuff, which I parted out. So ninety two cents for this lot, and I listed it April twenty seventh last year, two thousand nineteen. However, they had vanished off of eBay at some point, so I had to redo the listing recently, fairly recently, and and they and they sold so. Uh, they probably would have sold quite a while ago had they not disappeared off of eBay. But, so yeah, so they sold on May 13th for $17 plus shipping. Next. It's some yarn I've had around for a while. Well, a while back I bought, like, a big, huge lot of of uh, yarn in a big bag at Goodwill, and, I mean, quite a while ago. And I listed it, and... Uh, I sold most of it off. I still have some. I still have some yarn left. Yarn's not uh, not a big one for me to sell. I think there's an issue there. But anyway, I paid a buck for this, and I listed it. Yeah, March sixteenth, two thousand eighteen. So it's a while ago, and I sold it May fourteenth for sixteen ninety nine plus shipping. Sixteen ninety nine plus shipping on that. Next. You know, it's kind of, I guess you would call it vintage, and it's hard for people to find their color that they want, so hold on a minute. Oh, that hold on a minute wasn't for you. It was for uh, my wonderful wife who wanted to ask me something, so uh, I just paused you there for a little bit. Okay, so anyway, yeah, the red yarn, dollar sixteen ninety-nine. All right, next. Castle Keep. Let's see, this, I picked this up, uh, I got this at, I believe it was in a, a bag, a bag lot, it was probably a $5 bag lot at the niche, so, uh, there was a whole bunch of, of different things I got in there, I had that I didn't pay anything for it, because, really, truthfully, I mean, I made all my money back on other games that were in there, so this one pretty much was basically, uh, really free, honestly. So I listed it March 31st. It was a side thing. I threw it in the bag just because I had room. All right. And and there it goes. And then it's, so I listed it March 31st, sold it May 14th. And I, I got five ninety nine plus shipping. So, I mean, it wasn't a killer, but it was just one of those extra little things in there. So, all right, next. 
set of six Anchor Hawking Wexford tumblers. These were the 10 ounce ones, five and a quarter inches tall. These I paid $4 for the lot. I listed April 24th, sold May 14th for $25 plus shipping. Um, Wexford is, is tough on eBay. There's a lot of sellers that, that sell it super cheap and you can't sell junk. So, um, it can't be dishwasher damaged or all scratched up. It's got to be nice. So, uh, yeah. All right, next. It's an egg, egg tray. It's for your refrigerator. Let's see, uh. 79 cents I paid for this. I listed it July 11th last year, sold it May 14th for $12.95 plus shipping. Next. And this is just an igniter for a charbroil for, you know, for a gas grill, I guess. I uh, bought a bunch of these at Walmart, clearance style for a buck a piece. And uh, I sold this one, let's see, I listed it December 19th, sold it May 14th for $9.52. Plus shipping. Next. Uh, mousetrap. Mousetrap. Uh, this was just, they bought a, a, just one of the parts. If I remember right, it was the one with the plumbing, the blue piece with the plumbing. They're uh, kind of right there just to the, just to the, I guess it would, it would be the northwest of the, of the pla red plastic tub. That, that one up there, that red piece of plumbing, that I mean, blue piece of plumbing is what sold. And um, let's see. So I paid four cents because I have it all parted out. Paid four cents for that piece, and uh, I listed it April 9th. Sold May 14th for 3.99 plus shipping. And uh, yeah, you ain't gonna get much selling parts out of games. Just just saying. But it's I don't know. It's kind of fun. Next. These are from the 70s, honestly. Uh, we had them when I was a kid. Um, I, I'm not really sure where I got them, how I ended up back with these, uh, and why I why I ended up back with these, but I did end up back with these. So I paid nothing for them. So I listed them, honestly, April 6th, 2016. Good night. Um, four years ago. I uh, sold them May 14th for $9.99 plus shipping and... Uh, that put a, a big hole in that tote so I could get more stuff in there. So that was cool. All right, next. And last. Next and last is another one of these charcoal, charbroil igniters. So same thing. I paid a buck and I sold over 952 plus shipping. All right, so um, I paid altogether $63.53 for all this stuff that sold. That's what I paid. And my net sales after after the refunds and cancellations, my net sales were five hundred and fifty six dollars and ninety five cents. So that was it for the second week of May. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your comments and your uh, smashing of the like button. Always go. Oh, it's always appreciated. Have a great day. Thank you again for watching and. Uh, uh, take care and keep listening. Bye-bye. I think. I can't, can't find my cursor. Where's my mouse? There it is.